Okay, it says we're back up now. I don't know what the issue was there. It's annoying. Okay, back to it. When I moved to the city To be on the stage But the curtain was closed You walked in the room And that's when I knew That I was home And my life will begin Flight from the desert, take a balloon with a mutual friend. Couches and wine, and everything's fine. Just one day at a time, and it gets really bad.
made this man better after all these years after all these years i still love you and every single tear you've ever cried cause after all these years above you look us right here no place i'd rather be after Okay, let's add a bit more weight to this wrist over here. I was just gonna say, I wish this brush would just, like, refill itself. But then it's like, then that's just a pen. <laughs> that defeats the point of a brush. Adding a bit more weight to the earring lines. Mainly because this line was way too thick, so I had to do the same thing on the other side. But you know, that's light. I want to fill this part in with black. It's a shadow. It's coming along pretty okay. Two ten. Pretty whether or not I want to put a neck or not, because I kind of like the look of a floating head. It almost looks like someone is like 
but they decapitated him and he's holding up the head. <laughs> it's got that kind of vibe to it. Of what color I should use. I think some oranges and some reds would look pretty. Like alternating colors of the plumes look nice. So another good thing about the India ink is that if you're going to use like tone bows, it typically won't smear. But in comparison, when using like fine liners, I will use uh, Sakura branded ones. Typically, those will bleed or reactivate with my tone bows. I know it comes down to like the pigment content, that's what causes it. But I usually don't have issues with my India ink. Yes, it is a bit more tedious. But it makes it easier when I'm using it with different mediums. Show. 
Yeah, I don't want to have anything overlap with that neckline. I forgot what it's called when lines combine. Oh, pretty, thank you! Good afternoon, Rex. Hope you're doing well today. Had a couple Fs today, but we're back up. Appreciate that you're here. Yeah, my art streams are usually pretty chill. Can't be my stick figures, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. A to your art. <laughs> I mean, probably would count as, like, modern out nowadays, though. I've seen some pretty wax stuff in museums. It was before my time, because I'm 22, but I know right before, like a couple years before me, people would be doing like the stick figure animations. Like, I wish I got into that when I was little. But by the time I was like old enough to like understand it, it wasn't cool anymore. <laughs> I mean, do you draw though, or your stick figures? What you got? Stick figure animations were low key cool, yeah, like the really good ones, because animation is solely like a lot of it is defined by like what illustrations they use in like. Um, transition frames because that's how you get like a lot of stylized like movement that type of thing stick figures is all I got nah that's okay that's okay got practice because um, I fully believe that like art is a skill so like anyone can work on it like if you put enough time and effort in uh, yes there are limitations like if you're visually impaired or that type of thing but as long as you try you'll get there because art is one of the few things where the more you do, the more likely to, the better you are to be at it. This one's coming along pretty right. I still don't like how dark that section is. I would white it out, but with tone bows, um, because the gel is almost like waxy, so it resists anything you put on top of it after. So I'm gonna avoid doing that for now. I'm so tempted to white it out though. Right now, just adding one more detail to the eyes, make it a bit more stylized. Also, to darken them a little bit. I mean, you can't see it, but you know. So there's some cross-hatching lines, and then a single line through it to darken it a little. You draw art for fun, yeah, for the most part. I'm also studying uh, in college graphic design. So, I'm studying it as well, I guess. It's usually just a pastime. Also, it's really soothing to me. And also seeing that, like, I myself can make something on my own is really encouraging for me. In terms of, like, I can do something, I am good at something, you know what I mean? Oh, you're from Cutie Stream, right? I think, right? Eat cool. Yeah, Katie's cool. Like, she's small, but like, she's really engaging. Like, she talks a lot too. Because I know I like streamers who are like, always on which i'm totally not i'm usually really quiet like i really like high energy stuff so i myself don't consume a lot of art streams but i'll pop into a few to like support and stuff you know you agree yeah cutie's great i know her ira we were in high school together she was a class below me so 
Like, we were kind of in the same friend group, but, like... Like, I wasn't... I didn't get too personable with anybody in school. But... Yeah, Katie's cool. Yeah, so this is the first time I've seen you. Or I've seen you chat, rather. <laughs> um... I just got my gaming set up. Set up. <laughs> I could have worded that better. But, um... So, I've been playing Mario Kart the past couple days. There's a couple clips and VODs from that. And then... I think the format I want to do... Is... Gaming and then art. Because I want to still draw every day. And streaming is a good... Method to keep at it. So that's probably going to be what content you'll see from me. Yeah, I probably have about an hour left on this piece. Because once I get line work done, I'm probably going to fill in with... Um... Pens. Tombos. Some brush pens. You play Mario? Uh, a little bit. I, I just have a Switch. I don't have any other consoles. Like, I just got... Uh, my gaming laptop, so I'm hoping to do a little bit of PC gaming soon. But, like, the issue is, like, I can't play anything too intense. Like, FPS, like... Loki. It's gonna say Loki make me spaz, but they don't. Like, that's a joke. But, um. I played a little bit of Mario Odyssey. I got to the Metropolitan stage, and then I got bored because, like, there's too much to do. Because, like, if I do play a game, like, I am a completionist. Like, I will beat the thing, I will get every single secret. Like, that's just how I play. Um. So, right now on Switch, I'm playing Mario Kart. So that's what I'm doing for now. I would like to do Mario Odyssey again. Not that I want to be a speedrunner, but I think that'd be a really funny gag. Because I'm not good at games, and then like I would try and speedrun stuff. <laughs> I think that's a really funny concept. I think I need to add a few strands here to make it as full as this side. This side is not as full, not as thick, rather. The thing I like about this one is since the hair really curly. It's a bit more stylized than the previous ones I've done. It's a bit more balanced out now. I think I need to make these wisps a little more curly. It's a bit more symmetrical. I gotta add a few wisps on this side too.
debating whether or not I want to make some of the lines in the hair heavier. Because I don't like how this isn't symmetrical here. That's fine. Whenever I'm drawing, I try to be like critical. So I always point out things that I like and then some things that I don't like as I work. So that's why you'll see me, or hear me rather, be critical as I'm working. That buzz is from the song, and it's low key pissing me off. <laughs> I'm sure y'all can hear it too. Like, it sounds like a vibrating phone, but it's not my phone, I swear it's a song. This is royalty free stuff, which is actually pretty good. Adding a bit more details to the hairline. The eyebrows look so whack without like the top lines lined in. I'm gonna color this in later. I just wanted to see what it looked like if I just line the bottoms.
I gotta think in some of these lines now. Let's make the top of the head a little bit darker. I personally really like wavy hair. So it almost looks like waves. I like really elaborate flower petals. So pretty. Okay. I think line work is just about done. Just looking for any touch-ups that need to be done. I think I'm gonna add a bit more weight to this wrist.
Yeah, that looks a better, bit better now. I'm trying to figure out a way to fix that part. I think what I can do is white out a little bit. Okay, just doing some last checks. And then I can go ahead and add some color. I usually don't do color. Like I usually just stick with black and white. But I was feeling a little bit of color today. I think maybe I need to make that part a little bit darker. Shadow below the neck. Below the head, sorry. A bit more noticeable. I think that looks a bit better now. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab my pens. So I wasn't planning on using my tone bows today. Because those are across the room. So I have like a mini cabinet for my art supplies, and it's really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab my pencil, I'll be right back. I am back. Let's go ahead and erase a few of these lines. And cross our fingers we don't tear the paper. Let's close my ink jar so we don't spill. <laughs> I have yet to spill an ink jar yet. I'll focus on Pokemon Go. You're 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 playing Twitch and Pokemon Go, bro. That's gotta eat your data up. <laughs> okay, sorry, I forgot to mute on that end. Yep. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're crazy, dude. My parents would kill me if I used that much data. I mean, we're on an unlimited plan, but still, they'd be like, hey, what you doing? Because <laughs> um, about two years ago, I started paying for my own bill, so I used a different provider than them. And the one month I went over budget, so I spent more than 50 bucks was when um, I was watching a, a Ludwig stream like out of town so I was using data right and it used so much data <laughs> like it added an extra like 10 bucks to my phone bill for only, like f like 20 minutes of watching twitch it's like oh my god I'm not doing that again 
crazy middle name. Sounds about right. <laughs> Rex Crazy Dragon. <laughs> but that's kind of cool. You still play Pokemon Go. I was really into it when it initially came out. Like I, when it came out, I waited a month to play it because I wanted to wait till like most of the bugs were fixed before like I played it. Because I knew if I played it with the bugs, I'd get frustrated. Because at the time, I used to walk to school. So I would play it on the walk to school, and I would give my I would leave house, my house an extra, uh, like twenty minutes before I really needed to. That way, I could have adequate time to play and get to school on time. Yeah. Now you're home playing, trying to play Smash. Nice. You doing it online or? Hey yo, Yana. We back. I was so freaking frustrated earlier. Like, my internet dropped again, and it's like, bruh, why does it keep happening? It only seems to happen, like, past one. So maybe it's the time? Maybe because there's more people in the house? But I don't know. I don't know. But thank you. I like the hair, too. Now, the only part I don't like is see how this part is really dark? That part is way too dark, so I'm gonna have to white that out. Before I start coloring. But yeah, we got all the baselines done. So I can go ahead and start coloring. I'm not gonna do it any like super crazy coloring, just like simple block fill with some warmer colors. You're playing spirits. Is that like playing a computer? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. I was never into Smash because like I'm bad at it. Like my sister was pretty aight. But Oh, it's story mode? Okay, I know what that is. I played the story mode for Smash. Okay. I know what you oh yeah, I got you. I know what that is. Um That's cool though. I'd always main Link, mainly because like Link is my favorite. I play him all the time, too, in Mario Kart. Mainly because like he's the only like humanoid character. <laughs> That's not weird. Okay. For my Tombos, I have a swatch, so I'm trying to look for warmer colors. So like this is like a purpley brown, almost. Oh, it's still purple. It's just my paper's faded. It's a really deep purple. So I'm looking for a deeper red. Main Lucario and Mewtwo? Nice. <laughs> Guess you're a Pokemon kid. <laughs> Playing Pokemon Go and then Pokemon on Smash. At least you're consistent. Let's see. Definitely want to go with warmer colors. Oh, this red's almost dead. I was just at Michael's, too. And I was like, should I get more tone bows? But I was like, nah. I was like, I don't need more. But I should have gotten more. Nah, there's nothing wrong with Pokemon. It's just like... I'm trying to think of something funny to say, but I can't think of anything. Pokemon is cool. I played it a lot. Because, like, I didn't have a console or anything. I didn't have a 3DS. I wish I had. I played games when I was younger. Um. But. I mean, as I said earlier, I was really into Pokemon Go, too. So. What team are you on? I was on the, the yellow one. Mainly, you know, it's funny, it's cringe. Like, I chose yellow because that's what Markiplier chose. <laughs> so I remember he released a short video and I was like, <gasps> Like, that's low-key what convinced me to download Pokemon Go. It's cringe, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Okay. Blue team? Nice. 
I, I low key chose yellow too because I guess the underdog. I know red has like a psychological advantage because people will inherently be scared of red because it's danger. I'm trying to find like a deep red. Cause this red is almost purple. Cause it's more of like a maroony. I think I'll use the maroony red. Just go for it. Let's hope I don't botch this. Oh, that shape looks solid. Looks solid. Okay. Killing with markers is fun, but you can usually see like where the strokes are. Like you can't see it on cam, but you can see where like your strokes overlapped, which is kind of frustrating. I know there's a blender tool that comes with my tone bows, but it doesn't work very well. I need to widen that side a bit. It's a bit too thin when compared to the other side. Oh, look at that. Pretty solid shape. We'll play them too, or Kirby. Nice. I always liked um, Kirby too, because like in my head, I know there's different advantages to, for each um, character. But, like in my head, I felt like Kirby was best because like he can fly. Because I'd be falling off the edge a lot. Okay, music stopped. Go ahead and fix that. Oh, I reached the edge of the playlist. Epic. Choose a new genre. Got some electronic in here. This don't sound like electronic. Sounds weird. <laughs> now these tombos are nice. Let's see if she'll focus. I don't think she will, but like it's a brush tip. Yeah, what is this like? I don't know. <laughs> it it's weird. <laughs> I want to change it, but I kind of want to see where it goes, like the other song from earlier. Like, the genre I picked is electronic, so it's like... How is this... Electronic. See, 
Same boat as me, yeah. <laughs> You've lost this same fight four times? Come on. You can do it one more time. Or however many times it takes. Practice is key. Let's make the eyes orange. Five times. It's big sad. <laughs> One more time. Make it six. Mm, it's creepy with the orange. Go ahead, add a white highlight now. <laughs> nice, good one. Good one, Rex. <laughs> Sag. I would play Smash more, but like, too difficult. <laughs> too many buttons. Okay, let's go make a starter on the hair. So, I kind of want to try to do darker hues on the top and then lighter on the bottom. I want to try that. I have to be careful not to color the hands because I want to keep this white. Change my color filter real quick. Mm, is she a bit dark blue? Let's see. Yeah, it probably looks best with the default. Looks a bit blue. Oof. Okay, let's probably just stick with the dark filter. Everything is a bit hewed down on my end. She got one hit, bro. <laughs> See, if I was playing, I'd just be like hopping off the edge every single time.
This game is fun. Spirits takes forever to beat, so I never really have completed it, even though I have like 40 hours in Smash. Yeah, it took us a long ass time to beat it. For me and my sister, dude. Because like, we took turns handing off the controller, so anytime... I mean, that's just how we usually play. Like, anytime one of us would die or respawn, we'd swap controllers. I think it's cool how there's just a story mode in general. So I know I usually will gravitate towards story stuff. Like, I like open world, but like sometimes, like, not enough direction freaks me out. That vocal sounds a bit like the weekend, that part right there. It's nice. Almost cotton candy, or not cotton candy, candy cane esque. This red and white scheme. Yeah, none of this indie ink is blending in with my uh, tumbo, so this is really nice.
Okay, so I'm gonna see which shade I can add to make this a bit darker. Because I wanna put streaks of a darker red in there. So I might have to combine. Yeah, so like this light tan will be nice. To make a bit more of a burnt red. darker tones are added. Amazing coloring. Thank you! I try. Because, like, the Tombows, it does come with, um, this is the, I don't know if she'll focus, the number zero zero. And it's a clear brush. <laughs> it's so weird getting used to, like, using cam. But it's clear, so it's supposed to blend. But as you can see, it doesn't blend very well. It, it's, it sucks. Like, I don't use it. So, tone bows are really good for if you're looking for... They're really nice for, like, calligraphy. Or, like, lettering. And also, it's pretty matte when you color in. Way better than them Crayolas you see in school. It's nice because with the brush tip you have a lot of control on whatever width you choose to do. But they're expensive. They're usually like average like $1.50 to $2 each. So you can get like a set from Michaels. Like a six set for 14 bucks. A bit expensive but definitely worth it. If you want to try lettering. I'm trying to create a gradient with like my darker reds, a medium orange, and then a light orange on the tip. Give it the illusion of ombre. You can do like realistic renders with tombos. It just takes a lot of layering. Because it dries basically instantly. 
so if you want to blend, you either have to use the blending pen or learn how to layer your inks. So like this one, I layered the bright red and then a light tan to get that maroony red. I think I'm about if I should color in the earrings or not, because I think it would look cool if they stayed white. Or maybe fill it in with like a golden red yellow. Okay, now for the lightest orange. Oh, look at that ombre. So nice. Gradient. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to white that part out a little bit, the way it's not too dark. That helps a little bit. Not too much though. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do touch ups with white on a knee. Rough lines. Depending on whether or not I want to keep the earrings white or color them in. Mm. 
Maybe Philomen was black. Or like a dark gray. Maybe. I forgot to fill the eyeshadow. on the crease. I like the earrings white though. I think I'm gonna do black. I'll do black. I'm just gonna use a very dark gray, I think. Mm. Once it's done, it can't be undone though. Debating, debating. Let's see what yellow looks like. Let's see what it looks like before I do anything. I can always cover up yellow. Kinda like the yellow. Make it a bit darker in some parts. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the yellow. It's like a golden rowdy. Okay, I think this one is done. Kind of like how this part is a bit unbalanced. Yeah, I like how this one came out. A bit more illustrative. Hands make it a bit more abstract. I kind of want to fill in the left wrist, the circle, but I think that'll add 
make it too dark. Because I kind of want the darker spot to be the lips. Because if I fill in the um, the wrist, it'll make it too dark. Yeah, so that one's done. Okay, let's go ahead and get some close-ups. Oh, this looks so nice. I drew hearts in the irises again. Cute touch. The underline on the eyebrow is definitely a look. Makes it look a bit darker. Like a shadow, it's cool. And then other details. Okay, this is done. Definitely really like gradient I got. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Went a lot longer than anticipated today. I think a total of five hours total between the gaming and the drawing. So yeah, so I think I'll stick with that format for tomorrow. And then, I'm gonna pause the music real quick. It is the song that's making the crinklies. Oh, I hate that, I hate that so much. Uh, anyway, yeah, thank you to anyone who popped in today. If you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead, drop a follow, it helps me out. And I will be back tomorrow, same time, 10 a.m. PSD. Probably starting off with Mario Kart again and then drawing in the afternoon. Yeah, so I'll call it here. Hope you all have a great day.